Welcome to the presentation of this year's Young Musicians Concert. It is the year of our Silver Jubilee, the competition having started off 25 years ago. I'm currently now the only serving member of the committee who has been there from the start, but it has been a privilege working with the current committee, many of whom have served for over 20 years now. We decided, as we were not able to host the competition, to do a virtual concert instead. So I contacted as many of the previous winners as was possible, and we've compiled a video to celebrate the competition over the years. Some of the performers are now in their 40s, and some still much younger, but I'd like to acknowledge and thank them for submitting their performances. It has been quite a difficult task, having been quite ill myself earlier this year, but I do hope as we celebrate these performers and their contributions, we can congratulate all of those performers who have taken part over the years. Not just the winners, but every single person who has taken part. I'm not particularly good with statistics, but I state quite confidently that these are well into several hundreds over the years. I'd also like to acknowledge the preparation and encouragement from the teachers. They have done a phenomenal job and the competition would not have reached the standard it has without their input. I cannot forget the role of accompanists, which has enabled many of the performers to perform to the standard that they have. The rehearsal time with the accompanists as well as the role of the companies in a performance should never be understated as they can make or break a performance. I'm, ple I'm pleased to report that their support and role has enabled rather than taken away from the performance. Mm. I would particularly like to thank Julia Moss who has been a regular accompanist from the very first competition mm. until 2019. 23 years of steady and supportive playing. In addition, I cannot forget to thank the judges who over the years have given up their time and effort to listen and review the performances without demanding any payment. I would particularly like to highlight the role of Tony Davis and Grace Moravi, who between them have chaired the panel over the last 25 years. A sterling job, and without whose dedication and commitment, the competition would not have succeeded. I do not also want to underestimate the role of parents and the audiences for whom the competition has brought much pleasure and without whose support and encouragement the competitors would not should not take for granted our performers should also be grateful for the support they have received from both these parties i would like to end uh, by dedicating this year's silver jubilee presentation to the memory of one of our founding members richard moss whose support and role as a treasurer and secret judge cannot be underestimated or measured. It was his dream and initiative which led to the founding of the competition. It has achieved its aim by raising the standard of music in the region, as well as developing the skills and talents of many young performers who have since joined the Nairobi Orchestra, where many of them still flourish. I believe his dream has come to fruition and that the aims of the young musicians will continue to reflect the aim of its founder. Dick, as he was fond, fondly known, also attained the achievement of having had the most winners as a teacher. Rest in peace, dear friend and mentor. 